As a wellness center paraprofessional at Pineview Middle School, Connie Boswell sees many students throughout the day who just need to take time to chill. They usually come in stressed, overwhelmed, even sad and worried, and usually rate themselves between an 8 and a 10 coming in. And then they get to take 10, sometimes 15 minutes, um, to calm themselves. And they usually rate themselves 3 or lower going out. And they don't do counseling in the wellness room. That's not an expectation of the wellness room. The wellness room is really to teach kids how to self-regulate. And that means we want to empower them with the skills that help them manage their emotions. And that's not person dependent. That's self-regulation is called self because only you can do it. We can't do it for other people. After receiving a sand timer, the students pick out a tool that works for them. There are many to choose from. One of the favorite tools in here is the TheraPuddy and it has different strengths and so they can decide how strong they want it and or soft and, and so that's a favorite tool here. But we also have things for smell. We have uh, scented squishy toys and um, we have some aromatherapy that um, goes throughout the day and, and also some scented markers. Um, for helping with the smell. And um, I like the fish tube that has the, the bubbly water and to just sit and look at that. So the visual with that, um, I have some students that just like to sit and look at that. So. Many of the tools are interactive and educational in that they help switch the mind and allow the users to learn how to cope with their stress. It's the reason we, we really wanted this um, here at our school is we want to be proactive because we've seen a problem and we want to try to do something before they get to where they're going to drugs or alcohol or you know suicide you know we want to have an option for kids to hopefully learn how to take care of these things before they get to where they feel like they need to go to those things. I had a student just the other day who came in and you could tell he was on the brink of tears when he came in and and he just sat and he cried and he was able to get out what he needed to and then go back to class and and that was good to see that he was able to have that time away from his peers to do what he needed to and calm himself and then be able to go back to class. We have seen numbers go down of kids sitting in our counseling room in our office um, from from last year which is what we wanted. We preferably want them to you know, get help and learn how to de-escalate and self-regulate themselves so they can get back in the classroom and that usually happens um, but there are times when they need a little bit more than just this as well and that's when we jump in and, and refer them to the counselor or to our licensed clinical social worker which is our therapist that uh, comes here once a week and they can get additional help through them. So while they're in here no phones, no social media, no talk calling anybody, they're in here just to try to de-escalate and, and self-regulate themselves and, and just learn how to cope with these issues they're going through and hopefully get their mind off of it just for a little bit. Desert Hills High School is also one of 25 wellness rooms in schools in the Washington County School District. The wellness center is said to be making a huge difference along with other efforts to help students cope with suicide ideation. It's been an escape for students. It truly has been something that is very beneficial to Desert Hills and I know students have gone there once they've received some shocking news or simply if they're overwhelmed and I think it's been a great addition to Desert Hills and I hope to see more at other high schools in the future. Ashley Hood, who serves on the student council, feels the weight of responsibility not only from her classes but also from coordinating activities. She says the wellness center gives her a break from the day's stress. Uh, my favorite thing to use in here is actually the weighted blanket um, just because it puts all the pressure on me and then by the time I leave I've taken all that pressure off. So for me the weighted blanket's the biggest thing to help me self-regulate. So it's actually helped me stay more productive throughout my day because I've just taken these small little time increments throughout my day to self-regulate instead of just shutting down when I got home. We do see a lot of use in the room. We see an average of about five kids a day will come and visit the wellness room, which is great. Um, one thing that we've done as we rolled this out to our faculty and our student body, we wanted them to recognize when they weren't doing 
so well when they were having a bad day. No matter where you come from or what you're going through, like we can all just like band together and just self-regulate here in this room and it's, it's a safe space. It changes how I think during the day before I'd come in here being all scatterbrained and not knowing what to do and then I walk out with confidence. So one of the things I love is that this is open to every student here at the school all the time and it's um, it's been really good. This time in is helping to teach kids how to be more productive citizens and know when to choose to take a break in the future. And it's also of the utmost important that we keep that information confidential. We don't share it. It's not available and it's very anonymous. Um, teachers don't see it. So it's, it's kept very confidential and that's very important to us. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.